Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World and welcome to Well, welcome back to part two of my series that you know what? I don't want to call it how I would fix save the world But it is very much my opinion and what I feel it needs to be very important save the world and the first Subject we're gonna talk about today is we're gonna talk about what I feel is the core of save the world what I feel is is the the heart and soul of save the world and that is literally the concept of playing with others play with others uh play with others join other commanders mission or storm shield defense and earn bonus experience in addition to the regular mission rewards now i don't mean play with others like this i mean playing with others as in the concept of having other people to play with because i feel like that is the most important thing about say and that's what i want to talk about first i want to talk about it first because i feel that playing with others is incredibly important incredibly important right now um we have a lot of other issues we have a lot of issues like the afk issue we have um issues of you know people not helping or people um People not being there for you in the game. And I feel that that goes down to the core of playing with others. And the way, the reason why I want to talk about this is actually, you know what? Let, let me just, let me show you guys. So when I first started playing this game, when I first started playing this game, I saw something very, very, very interesting. Uh, and that was what we're going to see here. This concept right here, you have four pads right here, four different areas to play with someone else. Um, let's get the <laughs> four different areas right there to to stand and play with someone else. Yes, this game you can do it solo. You can play this game solo. I know some people who were avid solo players did every single SSD solo, did every single mission solo, and just progressed the whole game. But I don't feel that that is the spirit of this game. I feel that the core and the spirit of this game is playing with others, and I feel that that is one of the things that needs to be addressed and worked on the most the concept of playing with others the concept of encouraging the open communication the finding friends even you know and save the world and now i will say this this is something that i constantly tell you guys and i constantly say on my streams because very a lot of times people come to my streams and say hey why is it that you're not bored of save the world why is it that you're still playing save the world why is it that that how do you keep save the world fresh and from not from getting and and not getting bored of it and i always say the same thing because it's true it's you guys the fact that i get to play this game on stream the fact that i get to play this game with all you guys the fact that every single time that i play this game there are dozens if not more people who want to play with me and I can do missions with other people. I can see how they do things. If you try and do a mission with four people instead of one, it's so much easier. And I'm not someone who wants to prove that they can do, I, as you guys know, I never did the ultra, the highest frost night event. Uh, I haven't done any of my endurances yet because that's not what appeals to me to the game in the game. I don't want that kind of a challenge. I want to play with other people. I want to enjoy myself. I want to have fun in the game. So I think that that is probably one of the biggest things about Save the World. One of the most important things about Save the World. It is the concept of playing with others. And I believe that that is something that Epic Games should help foster. Now, they've tried. Oh, they've tried. For those of you who know and remember, we used to have something called the global chat system and even the founders chat system, which when you hit it enter, when you hit it enter, when you hit enter before up the top, there would be little tabs that would appear. And on those tabs, there would be a global chat and there would be a founders chat. And the point of those was to find people to play with that you could say, hey, I'm looking to do this mission. Help me out. Uh, I'm looking to do that mission. Help me out. But what happened was what happened was. It turned into a open trading market that, as we know, uh, people scammed and did things like that. So it was very negative, and eventually 
they took it away. They removed it because there was it wasn't being used correctly. Now, do I feel that it should come back? I think it should come back in a certain way. Do I think that it's wonderful that they did the voice option so you can actually talk to people? I think that's awesome too. And I, But I also believe that just like it's important for Epic Games and Fortnite to give us the capacity and the the options to be able to play with others and chat with others and find other players to play with i also think it's really really important and it's up to us as well it's up to us that when we meet someone in the game that that you know helps us out or if you jump into a mission say hi to someone say hi to people play together you know if you're looking there's tons of people out there who are actually looking to play the game there's a lot of people who are not looking just to afk matches there's a lot of people who want to who want to play with others who want to make those connections who want to you know find other people to play with to get missions done so i think that's really important that's something that i do very much appreciate about you guys my community who watches me and comes to the streams people who are in the discord um, that a lot of you guys have found a lot of people to play with, you know, you guys have found people that you, that you can try and get things done with. And yes, I know that certain missions can be very, very negative to do. <laughs> Some of you may have seen, I don't know if I've already released it yet, but uh, if you were on a stream recently, you saw me try to do this mission over here, <clears throat> which was a level 140 mission. Um, this retrieved the data. We missed one. We didn't explore the map. We got a level three chest and out of a level 140 to achieve the data with triple, triple legendary perk up, we got ourselves 130. That was it. <coughs> the game was 130 there. I know that they're going to fix that in version 10.10. 10, 10. Maybe they already have. And if they have, you know what? That's awesome. I hope that I hope that it gives you much more. But it's very hard to get together four people. We were all max, max level. We all put up a bunch of of, <coughs> of traps. <coughs> we all built a bunch. We all did a lot. And all of our efforts for that. So I understand how it can be very, very appealing to also do other missions like the Hit the Road mission that's currently active. Hit the Road is awesome. You don't have to use any of your materials. You don't have to use any of that. And as long as you find people that you can play with, people that you can trust, it really, really helps. So I feel like that is, that's probably one of the biggest things that need to be, that needs to be worked on. One of the most important things that needs to be worked on is the concept of playing with others. It's the concept of others helping you helping others working with others i think it's huge guys i think it's really really huge i think it's really really important um i hope that also like i said i hope that epic games and save the world the developers are working on maybe ways of encouraging this ways of of you know encouraging the community because this should be a game that you're playing with others you you want to have an extensive list of friends that you can play with people that you can communicate with that you can trust and the beauty of the online world is that we can connect with people all over the world there are tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of people who you can play with and we're all here to do the same thing which is have fun which is you know progress in this game have fun enjoy the game it's a wonderful game it's really great um and yeah so i really really hope that as a community we can also support this i don't know exactly how epic games can fix this yes bringing the chat would be good maybe making it so that <coughs> there was uh for trading maybe there was a trading chat um, or making or implementing a trading system within the game that could also help out as well but I also feel that this is an important thing that l falls upon us as well us as the community at us as the players giving our best trying to communicate with each other helping each other out making those connections and you guys know jumping in and doing a mission with a bunch of random people or when you connect with someone and you find a friend and you start playing with them and you look for them and you play with them and you learn to trust them and how much better doing those missions and enjoying the game can be when you have that person that you can call a friend and you can play with. I still don't recommend you trade with them. Don't trade. <laughs> don't trade ever because even a friend can uh, 
<clears throat> can scam you. So don't do it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you enjoy what I do on my channel, please do me a huge favor and have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.